Hey, what's up, guys? Foxy coming to you guys today with a brand new video. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. If you guys are brand new here, my name is Foxy, and I do audio engineering, sound design, things like that. So today we're gonna be reacting to Black Ops Cold War guns, but with Black Ops One sound effects. I made this video about a year or so ago, and I figured it would be cool to take a look back at it and kind of see how I went about things and kind of explain to you guys what I did. So without further ado, let's go, bros. That sounds so heavy, dude. What's really funny about this video... Aw, oh, dude, the FAMAS. So, what's really funny about this whole short is that I accidentally kept the Black Ops Cold War sounds. Technically, this video is supposed to just be the Black Ops 1 sounds. It's not. It's both the sounds combined, and they sound so crazy. I didn't realize it until I uploaded it, but it already hit kind of 100k by that time. So I was kind of like, oh, well, screw it, you know? Okay, so. That commando is one of the best ones. And these are lined up pretty much perfectly. I think that the Black Ops 1 commando has such a nostalgic sound because I used it so much back in the day. It was the one weapon where I was like, dude, if they bring this back in Cold War, I definitely want them to kind of bring that classic sound back. They didn't really replicate the sounds of the Black Ops 1 guns, which is okay that they didn't bring those sounds back. But at the same time, I would have liked a little bit of a recall. Maybe I could do something where I kind of remake the classic sounds i don't know how i would do that but you know maybe it's something i could experiment with if you guys are interested in that let me know down in the comments um next up is the famas and i think the famas besides the m1911 which was not in this video but it's in part two and i got so many comments asking for it after this video besides the m19 i feel like the famas is one of those guns in this game in black ops 1 at least that sound is infamous when you say black ops 1 famas you automatically think of um that gun sound and how good it was because it was the best gun in the game for sure oh dude the black ops cold war sound mixed with the black ops one sound in my opinion sounds better than the black ops one sound but the black ops cold war sound is not that great honestly it's i'm not gonna lie it kind of sounds like a bunch of like plastic and I, I don't want the 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 developers thinking that i'm shitting on their sound design because i'm not that's not what i'm doing i'm just kind of critiquing it and giving my thoughts on it as a fellow gamer and as a lifelong call of duty fan and a sound designer it just sounds like a toy gun and i know that's that, that's infamous for what people have said about treyarch guns in the past especially with bo3 which was pretty much called for but that, that doesn't mean it's bad because i kind of like a lot of the sound design in bo3 i do feel like this gun in particular when i heard it i was like oh no because the famas and black ops one just sounded like a straight ripping gun man this is really weird to describe it but you guys know when when you finish a roll of paper towels and it's just like the it's what it's the holder for the paper towels like the not it's not wood but like the the roll the roller or whatever and like if you took that empty roller and you know how like you kind of go like the, okay never mind okay anyways you know like how you have like the empty roller and like if you like beat it on any object it makes that sound right so it's, imagine taking two of those and like using them as drumsticks that's the thing i think of when i hear the black ops cold war for my sound and i just don't really like it it sounds way bigger and way heavier when you combine both of them which i wish that there was a way that the developers could do that i wish that there was a way that the developers could take the older sound and just modify them for the new games they've done it sometimes but other times it's kind of like eh, what the fuck <laughs> So the 74U is the probably, I think it's the one I had the most trouble with because I couldn't get the uh, the sounds to kind of sync. I probably could if I was using Pro Tools, but I was using Premiere Pro in this, in this video. Most of the time you want to use Pro Tools when you're doing this kind of stuff. Pro Tools sucks on Windows computers and I don't have a Mac, so I kind of had to do stuff my own way, but the 74U was really hard to match up and I was doing my very best and you can kind of hear towards the end where they kind of desync a little bit i would say that i like the 74u gun sound in cold war better than black 
ops one i think the black ops one sound is a little bit too light and a lot of the gun sounds in black ops one have very similar sounds if not pretty much replicated sounds with change of pitch and i guess that's why i prefer the cold war sound i like the little details that cold war has like when you're running out of ammo it kind of lets you know with you know that slight tick sound and you guys know what i'm talking about at the end it's for it happens for almost every single gun the older games just didn't have that sense of detail which is fine you know it was back in 2010 when those games came out so i didn't really expect it but after modern warfare 2019 i definitely do now <laughs> I'd say that the M16 and FAMAS were the two guns that pretty much sunk damn near perfectly. The little hints of the Cold War sound mixed with the classic Black Ops 1 sound, I really like because the Cold War sound has this, not rubber, it's not rubber sounding. It's like, uh, I don't know how to describe it. It's got this like very distinct sound, but at the same time, when you put that black ops one like metallic chunky sound on top of it. it in a way for me it balances out i don't know why i think of rubber whenever i think of the black ops cold war guns at least for some of the assault rifles i don't know may maybe it's just nostalgia clouding my mind uh, but at the same time gun sounds are they're done a specific way so that way it's kind of balanced in the games and that way it's not overbearing uh, that's one of the things where modern warfare was very different from all the other cod games it was overbearing and it was pretty accurate and crazy to real life guns i don't think that the original sound for cold war is bad i just think it just needed that one extra like little put some a little bit of old bay on top and you'll be good to go you know so I took the L96 reload and I took the, I want to say the Barrett reload. And I had to incorporate both of those. The L96 reload is way too quick. It's way faster than the Cold War LW3. So because of that, I had to kind of scramble and I didn't want to use the same sound effect that I did before or like I just didn't want to use all the same sound effects with the L96 so I was like ah let me look at some of the other sniper rifles and see which one I really liked and I'm pretty sure I picked the Barrett or which, whichever I think it's like I'm really bad with gun names I'm bad with names in general you guys know this from the Sasuke or Naruto video whenever someone makes a comment on this short about the L96 I'm always like you damn right because that that's some top-notch stuff so i really like the lw3 sound for cold war but that black ops 1 l96 a1 sound is just nostalgic as fuck so you know th that's the one i prefer but when you combine both of them together like i said before with the m16 and like i said with the other guns you put a little bit more of old bay on top of that and it you know it sounds really good just a little bit more of that metallic sound is is awesome so that's gonna do it for this reaction um this is that i talked about this way longer than i thought i was going to so if you guys want me to do something else like this i can definitely do so let me know down in the comments. I can react to the very next video because I think the next one has the uh, has the M1911. Make sure you guys go check out the Patreon if you guys want to support me there even further. And uh, go subscribe to Foxy Dubs with an S so that way you guys can check out my reactions to uh, certain anime, TV, and all that stuff. Because we're going to be doing that kind of content over there. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Go follow me on Twitter. Uh, all my social media is down in the description below. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.